After the capture of Avdiivka, Kharkiv will be the next target of the Russian army, former chairman of the NATO Military Committee, retired Bundeswehr General Harald Kuyat said in an interview with Die Weltwosch. Now they have taken Avdiivka, this is a great advantage. The next target is Kharkiv, he says. Slowly but surely, the alarm was sounded in the United States because of the behavior of the armed forces of Ukraine Kuyat explained his assumption by the fact that the Russian army is currently active in the Kupiansk direction. He also added that after all the losses suffered, the situation of the armed forces of Ukraine has become extremely difficult. Now Ukraine is no longer able to conduct a ground offensive and combat operations. There are too few Ukrainian servicemen on more than a thousand kilometers of the front line, the general concluded. Over the past week, the Russian armed forces have captured several settlements in the Donetsk, Pobeda, Lastikino, Severnoy, and Petrovsky. Petrovsky is located 5 kilometers northwest of Avdiivka, which was invaded by Russian troops on February 17. Something of an afterthought for the past year, the Kupiansk sector of Kharkiv may be the next major battleground as Russia seeks to exploit Ukrainian ammunition and manpower shortages, particularly in the run up to Vladimir Putin's ceremonial re election in mid March.
U.S. warns Russia against nuclear-capable anti-satellite weapons. The Biden administration recently issued direct warnings to the Russian government against deploying a nuclear-capable anti-satellite weapon, U.S. officials confirmed to CBS News. The warning was part of a broader diplomatic push that has also involved urging the Indian and Chinese governments, among others, to weigh in directly with Moscow. The talks come after a warning from House Intelligence Committee Chairman Mike Turner, Republican of Ohio, who issued a cryptic statement last week regarding a serious national security threat, propelled the matter to public prominence. White House National Security Communications Advisor John Kirby later said Turner's concern was related to a space-based anti-satellite capability being developed by Russia, but added the capability had not yet been deployed and did not pose any immediate threat to American citizens. We are not talking about a weapon that can be used to attack human beings or cause physical destruction here on Earth, Kirby said. That said, we've been closely monitoring this Russian activity and we will continue to take it very seriously. CIA Director William Burns recently engaged with Russian spy chief Sergei Narishkin about the matter according to a US official who spoke on condition of anonymity to discuss the sensitive talks. <music>